Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today guys, we're checking out Supergirl Season 4 Episode 13 entitled... What's so funny about truth, justice, and the American way? Long fucking title. It's a long title. Oh god. I'm probably gonna have to cut some of that out or just say Supergirl 413 because I, I put the title in the... I put the title of the episode in the title. Oh boy. I don't know if I'll do that in the video. But um... I hate... Okay. The show's are on break. I hate the fact when the show's gonna break, but I also love it because I don't have to edit them at night and upload night up. It's great. But um, overall, I'm enjoying season four. I feel like there's things they could be doing better, but I, overall, I think it's it's doing better than what I was expecting because there's the thing the whole the season four curse where Arrow season four was a complete dumpster fire. Season four of Flash, it got bad in parts, and people still say it's bad in season five. I disagree, but I think season four is doing better than. It could be doing a lot worse. Um, I don't know. That title, I have no idea. I got no idea. But uh, The fact is that the, the, one of the last things we saw at the end of the episode was uh, Asia Liberty's out. So maybe it has something to do with him? That's, that would be my guess. I thought for a second his son was going to become the new Asia Liberty because he was doing all that stuff before his dad. I thought he'll be the new Asia Liberty. But like, now we got I think he'll work with him, though. Oh, of course, of course. Um... Yeah, I mean, Alex still does not know that Supergirl and Kara are the same person. Um, Lena is working with the government, and James is out of the picture. Again. <laughs> they'll get back together again in this episode, then they'll break up again, then they'll get back together next week. It's, it's, it's insanity. Um, but I'm excited. Are you? I'm very excited. We're excited. So here we go, guys. Supergirl 413, all those words in the title. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sorry. Human. Well, if only you knew. I don't think she okay. is. She's not only human? No. Well, Shit. That address is to an Al Corp subsidiary. I know you said that my source for that last Uh oh, it's wrong. that girl back. Trying yeah, to get to the bottom of what Lane is doing. Did I eat? He's settled down. I'm guessing they're not going to be so smart. Case in point. No. <laughs> don't ask me, I'm local. <laughs> his hat what that even? and it knocked the guy out so... what the hell she just flew to the side oh okay bird box basically <laughs> Oh, she missed him. I'll check. Like and subscribe. Where's the gel electrophoresis apparatus? Of course, Lena brought her. That conversation at Thanksgiving, that wasn't theoretical. You're giving people powers. Basically. And then the government's going to weaponize it. Nobody's going to follow this. Oh. Calling him out. Who is the light there? Devils. This is the era. The elite. I want you to deputize the children of liberty. Oh. Interesting. He just wants the picture. He's there trying to get. Okay. If you choose to join the fight to bring the elite to justice, I'm sure your father would understand. I think you should. Join the fight against Just saying. There's a reason he brought the fight to me. I'm the symbol. He wants this. Your timeline is likely extra Florentian, and not a subject of paradox as one might think. But there are still risks to divulging this type of information. Well, Supergirl said anything I need, didn't she? You really don't know, do you? Next week, your beloved Gobian is launching a satellite that will shoot down any alien spacecraft trying to enter our atmosphere. Really? That's impossible. I have it on good authority. How can that mm. secret agents hide? Mr. President. He's like, what the fuck? We need to talk. Yeah. It's wrong. Innocent people will die. Do not interfere with that satellite. Come on, 
Which she will. This is a mistake, Mr. President. She's not gonna let people die. Okay. Am I still doing that? Or, uh... <sighs> yeah. Anyway, uh... How are you doing? How's George? I wanted to talk to you about... Message. She even answered the phone. What? What is she doing? I don't know. What the fuck was that? Supergirl's at your door. I didn't know you made house calls. Well. Look, you can only do what you feel is right. But what's the right decision? I destroyed the damn thing. Put it on the ring. <laughs> okay. I like her suit. The more I see it. That's awesome. Oh! <gasps> holy shit! Jesus. Whoa. That was cool. Maybe it was good that she asked all about her uh, people or whatever. Alex, you made it! You made it! Damn! She can see it all coming. Oh. He lost his ring? Oh, it's that suit. Oh, they gotta get that back. Oh boy. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he has a legion ring. Okay, I'm about to say, wait, he's flying now? <laughs> oh. That was so close. <laughs> wow. About it? The president acted against protocol. She turned the cameras off. I think you're right. What? There's something wrong with this government. I thought you were the government. I may not be able to deputize all of your children of liberty. Oh, God. He's going to deputize, can't deputize one. Him. How would you like to be my next director of alien affairs? Oh, my God. What? No action. The children of liberty need a leader who inspires them. Someone strong and powerful. Yeah, I knew it. There you have it, guys. Supergirl Season 3, Episode 13. Blah, blah, blah. A bunch of words in the title. What do you think of the episode? That was pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Pretty good. I do have one thing I have to say before we I jump off into all the things that happened in this episode. Once again, uh, No. No red daughter Kara, no clone Kara, nothing. Like, it's just, they're not focusing on it. Uh, I made a tweet about this, and someone said that apparently there's an upcoming episode that's going to be focused entirely on red daughter Kara. We'll see when that happens, but it's like, that's the season three end teaser. The other Kara. We're like, what are they doing? And then they confirmed via interviews right after the finale of season three, they were doing their own version of Red Sun, Red Daughter Kara, all this, right? And they've been showing bits and pieces, but barely anything. And they'll go entire episodes out showing her. And it's like, you promoted it, you heavily teased it, you're at Comic-Con promoting this season, talking about it, and then it's like, you barely touch it at all. And we've, we're 13 episodes in. 
We barely know anything about this other car besides she's training all the time. And apparently something's up with her powers or something because she passed out and they were trying to shock her and bring her back to life and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know what's going on there, but they need to pick up on that storyline because I'm tired of them putting it to the way, to putting it to the side, giving us one scene or no scene at all and not even discussing it. Come on, come on. But first things first, I gotta say, I love the Dreamer's suit. The Dreamer, Dreamer, whatever, Nia. Her, her suit's really cool. I love it. My only thing is the, the, the mask. It's too big on her eyes. Yeah. It needs to be smaller. But I really like it. Um, she did go behind Brainy's back and learned about her abilities and kind of jumped forward and was able to astral project whatever. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. But she's like, the person who could teach me is dead. Her mother's dead. Now, I don't know. Okay. I don't think her mother could have really told her all that because I, I didn't see her mother being somebody who could do all that hero stuff. Or maybe when she was well, younger. Really didn't know her mother. Maybe she, when she was younger. Maybe when she's yeah. no, because like it, it passed down. So I'm guessing maybe when she's younger. But when we met her in that episode, she was just kind of very relaxed and laid back. Because I guess her thing is, I'm she not a hero. Person and... Yeah, I'm not a hero anymore. I'm not doing that kind of stuff. So maybe her mother could have taught. I bet before she had kids. She was a hero. She was, yeah. she was that dreamer or that character. She was wearing that suit, protecting. The people of her town or something. Like a vigilante, if you will. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that they introduced another... I forget like I forget the robot's name, but, they, but that the, the original died. And they, I, think that, I think this one was newly introduced or something. Alex or... Yeah, but um, it was called Fortress Solitude because I've always wanted... I've always wanted to see more of it because we've seen bits of it, but it's like they always hold it for like two or three episodes per year or when Superman's around... Then they go to Fort of Solitude. They, they barely go to it. And all it is is just it's just a set. I don't know why they go to go to it more. Um, but I like the visuals where the camera's moving and you see reflections of somebody and then how they're going behind the ice crystals, if you will. I like it a lot. Um, and I felt like some of the dialogue, especially with uh, Martian Manhunter, Jean talking to Kara about picking up the sword, if you will, like returning to fighting because he made that decision after his dad died to kind of you know put that down and be a different person and kind of take up a different cause in honor of his father but it's like at the end of the day you're Martian Manhunter and there's there's more that you can do besides what he's doing I mean it's for a great cause but a lot of stuff's going on you got to pick up the mantle and go back out there and continue to be Martian Manhunter I'm glad that he was there for the fight that went down in the uh in the bunker or the secret base or whatever that was going to launch a satellite. He did a little bit of fighting. He mainly fought Manchester Black and um, protect some guards, but that's really it. Um, the Elite. Uh, here, here's my thing. Manchester Black, they've given him a lot of screen time. I feel like his character is just kind of all over the place for me. Sometimes I like him. Sometimes I'm like... I'm not a huge fan of his character. I could, I could, I could you know, take or leave him. Like, there's sometimes I, I think he's a decent character. Other times I'm like... You know, this could be better, or this could be a different character entirely. The new guy they introduced, the hat or something, I, f I think they called him the hat. I don't know. The guy with the hat kept pulling shit out of it. It's a cool power, but I don't know. My, my I guess my complaint is that it's not a previous villain we were introduced to. Like, he's just some dude they introduced randomly in the intro, killing some guard or whatever, and then, of course, taking his clothes, and that's how it's all tied in, because now he's playing a guard, and he broke Manchester Black, and Menagerie, which, by the way, I feel like Menagerie was barely shown in the pre... Like, she got more screen time in this episode than she did in the one she was introduced to, and it was based off the, like, the title is her character name. She's barely in the fucking episode, but this one, she got more screen time. Um, I will say, though... That one bit where Supergirl's walking slow mo, the shots, and all of a sudden that the thing wraps around her and pulls her back like super fast. That was awesome. That was a cool. That was a cool shot. Um, and then seeing Brainy and Dreamer going back and forth, taking down this guy or whatever with the and hat. They used uh, calculations. Calcul like, yeah, she was she, <laughs> she was using her dreams. He was using math or whatever, figuring out where he was. Um, and then Brainy lost his ring, which is really shitty. I wonder how that's going to go over, but if, if he's going to be able to get it soon there or what? a chance to get it back, but yeah. he didn't grab it. <laughs> he couldn't, he should have known that he had the ring because he was flying. Yeah. But Jean's like, no, I'm too busy 
beating the shit out of you. I'm not even going to think about that ring. Um, Alex came and helped. Alex, uh... I can't who she would. Yeah, but I was also thinking at the same time, understandably why she wouldn't, because, you know, it would jeopardize a lot of things. And to, to find out, I forget her name. Waller, Walker, Walker, is that her name? I think it's Wallace, isn't it? I thought it was... I don't know. I forget it, regardless. The woman that we hate, because she is the reason why Alex does not remember that, or doesn't, doesn't even know that Kara is Supergirl because they had to erase Alex's memory because she was, you know, getting at, trying to figure out a way to, to expose Supergirl's identity. She was unaware of the satellite, too. Now, I have a theory. The president, I feel like he's, I feel like he's an alien. He's a bad man. I feel like he's an alien, he though. Be. He's an alien pretending to be a human. And what better way to be on the side of what he thinks is right? Or maybe, or maybe he's an alien who hates all aliens too. I'm just thinking hypothetically. Because like, we had the president, which was Linda Carter, which was one original Wonder Woman from the TV show. Amazing, they got her. That was awesome. And then we have this guy, and he's the complete opposite of her. Un understandable, because I mean, if it was the same old, same old, I think it would get boring. But then he breaks... Lockwood out, or he breaks, he pardons Lockwood, takes a picture with him, then brings it back, I'll deputize you, and I'll make you, what was it, head of alien affairs or whatever? Yeah. And then, of course, we see at the very end, Lockwood is still kind of crazy, because he murders that guy who keeps threatening his leadership, and all that kind of stuff. Like, should we call you? He went, he went crazy on that guy. His face or whatever? He reminded me of Stanley from Arrow. Remember when Stanley came back, and they were all paralyzed yeah. in his face or whatever? It's like, yeah, but Stanley works good, so... He's a good actor, so he knows how to portray that crap. Um, we overall think it was a good episode. Um, I wasn't sure about the Elite, but overall I'm like, okay, I kind of see the point and the whole revealing of that satellite I think really added to the episode. And just seeing uh, Nia as the dreamer kind of start to understand her powers more and all that kind of stuff, I think it's a, I think it's a great way to push forward uh, the show and the storylines because now she's into the fold and... She's still going to be training, but at least she can actually do something physically out in the field besides just foreseeing stuff happening and then telling everybody else about it. Uh, but there you have it, guys. That's our reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Did I cover everything good? I think so. I think so. Okay, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.